Hello everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and I'm back on video, which uh, is something that I haven't really done in quite a while. Um, I haven't done videos in quite a long time apart from obviously event coverage like we did at CES, but you didn't get to see my wonderful, beautiful, handsome, gorgeous face. So yeah, I'm back and I'm doing it again. <clears throat> Basically, I've taken a different role within eTechnics, I'm not doing component reviews anymore. Um, Chris Hadley will be and instead I'll be focusing more on the business side of things and obviously doing videos. So uh, this video isn't really just about me blabbing on, it's about our sort of shiny new upgrade. Um, as you know we use test machines for various different um, component tests and things like that and they range depending on what we're actually going to be testing. So we've got uh, obviously an FM1 test setup which rarely gets used but it has got an Asus motherboard in there. Um, Corsair HX 1050 watt power supply, Kingston 128 uh, gig, um, V plus 100 drive, and graphics card sort of ranges depending on you know what we're testing. We've also got obviously our AM3 plus, which is uh, Crosshair 5. All the other bits are exactly the same. Um, then we've got Z68, which is a Maximus 4 Extreme Z. We've also got X79, which is the uh, Rampage 4 Extreme, and other than that, we have got sort of X58 using a Rampage 3, but now because of obviously X79, that rarely gets used as well. But today, we have been focusing on sort of upgrading them. Um, so we will in the future, hopefully quite soon, we will be changing the um, cooling setup on it, the memory as well, um, looking at changing that, as well as the power supplies and um, the SSDs. So the SSDs actually came today. So at the moment we're using 128 gig Kingston V plus 100 drives, but we will be changing for these. Kingston HyperX 240 gig uh, SATA 6 drives. And we have got, as you can see, five of them. So we've got one for all our systems. So uh, yeah, FM1 basically. AM3 Plus, X58, X79, and Z68. So yeah, we've got them all um, ready to, to go in, and it's a good thing that they're slightly bigger drives than what we had before, because the 128s aren't you know, fantastic, especially when you're loading all the games on that we do for our graphics card tests. When you come to do some sort of uh, PC mark suites where it has to create files and things like that, it can cause some problems and run out of space. So 240 gig for the win. Um, we haven't done a review on this, not quite sure why, but we've got five of them now, so any ideas that you might have on what we can do? One idea that we had was, uh, well someone actually put on Facebook, and we thought it was a great idea, is to get all five of them and stick them in RAID, and see what sort of performance we're going to get, which is going to be quite crazy, but it should be fun. So, yeah, we're going to do a normal review on it, we're going to stick them in our test machines, and we should hopefully be doing some more videos on our test machines, I might even like show us you know, time lapse video or something, building one, something like that. Um, just really to increase our productivity so we can get all the latest stuff to you. Uh, other than that, not really uh, a mass amount of new stuff going on apart from um, we have Intel's third generation motherboards. I'm not allowed to call it anything else, so Intel's third generation motherboards. We've got three of them. Not allowed to show you, not allowed to tell you what it is, but yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of you can, can guess. Um, so yeah, and we're still waiting on the third generation processor as well, um, but that's all, all a little bit under wraps and we can't tell you any more uh, than that. Other new stuff, um, 7950 is coming out tomorrow, we will have a review of that, we've got the XFX 7950 Black Edition overclocked with the Double D, I love that name, uh, Double D cooler. Um, so yeah, that should be interesting as well, so remember to check back on eTechnics.com for that. I might even might might even do a video very much like this one to show it off, and I'm also going to do some videos on the Intel third generation uh, motherboards, which I'm not allowed to tell you what they're called, but I'm sure you all already know. And um, anyway, because of all the rumours that have sort of been confirmed in a roundabout way. Uh, other than that, yeah, we've got some some new content coming up and things like that, and eTechnics is going to carry on growing, and hopefully what I'm going to do now is try and get our forums more pumping, uh, so we've got more of a community aspect, and obviously all these videos on our YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to subscribe. If you're not, go over to YouTube and subscribe. And uh, yeah, hope to sort of uh, be filling you with tons and tons of videos very, very soon. So for now, I'm going to... Uh, 
check out what these Kingston 240 gig HyperX SSDs can do and probably strip apart our test machines so we can clean them all up um, on our Lee and Lee test benches, the T60s. Clean them all up, um, get all the stuff in there and then when we upgrade all the power supplies and things like that um, we can obviously do some videos for that as well. So until next time, see you later and um, for all the people out there who care because I know a lot of you do and you always comment whenever I do these videos about my t-shirts today I am wearing one that says tickle my pickle so uh, I know that a lot of people are really interested in the various different t-shirts I've got so I don't think I've ever worn this one in a video again so there you go, a um, little bit of entertainment for you and until next time, see you later